Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, today I wanted to share a couple of quotes from this book that I'm currently enjoying, In Freedom's Cause by G.A. Hinty, and it's a story of Wallace and Bruce. So this is, uh, it's got the Scottish flag there on the cover, Story of Scotland. Um, okay, so here's the first part. This is a little bit setting the stage. It seemed so incredible that Scotland, which had so long successfully resisted all invaders, should now tamely yield without a struggle, that the people could scarce believe it possible that their boasted freedom was gone, that the kingdom of Scotland was no more, and the country become a mere portion of England. Thus, while the nobles with their Norman blood and connections accepted the new state of things contentedly enough, well satisfied to have retained rank and land, a deep and sullen discontent reigned among the people. They had been betrayed rather than conquered, and were determined that some day there would be an uprising, and that Scotland would make a great effort yet for freedom. But for this, a leader was needed, and until such a one appeared, the people rested quiet and bided their time. Okay, so that was early on when kind of England had come in and... Uh, Scotland didn't have a king at the time. There were three people in, in line that, had, that could make a claim for the, for the kingship. Um, but England had come, invaded, and put up sort of a fake king, a nominal king. And he, he's, uh, he supported England. So basically they were a fake, they had a fake king that was just a puppet of England. And then later they just totally overthrew him. And they were like, all treaties are off. And they took the stone where 500 years of Scottish kings had been crowned upon, they dug it out and took it to England and put it under the English throne. And so then they're just like, you know, oh, you're just some more lands of England. So all the people are, you know, burning with freedom. And uh, of course, this is William Wallace that the movie Braveheart is based on. Um, okay. And then, so later in the book, the, the main character of the story is named Archie and he's talking with William Wallace and um, Wallace is also wanting, so Wallace is a leader, but he is not one of the ones who has a claim to the throne. So he's talking here. So long as only I, a poor knight, am at the head of this rising, it is but a rebellion against Edward and its chances are still so weak that but a few men who have ought to lose join us. But if Bruce or Comyn should raise his banner, all would receive him as our future king. And he says, uh, I would rather the Bruce, so that's who he wants most to be king. Um, Bruce is young. He is said to be of great strength and skill in arms and to be one of the foremost knights in Edward's court. So that's the English king who he works for now by, he has to. Um, he is, I hear, of noble presence and is much loved by those with whom he comes in contact. Did such a man determine to break with Edward and to strive to win the crown of Scotland as a free gift of her people instead of as a nominee of Edward and to rule over an independent kingdom instead of an English province, he would attract all hearts to him and may well succeed where I, as I foresee, must sooner or later fail. But why should you fail when you have succeeded so far? Archie asked. Because I have with me but a small portion of the people of Scotland. The whole of the northern lords hold aloof and in the south Carrick and Annandale and Galloway are hostile. Against me I have all the power of England, Wales, and Ireland, and although I may for a time win victories and capture towns, I am certain, Archie, in the end to be crushed. And will all our efforts have been in vain, Archie said with tears in his eyes. By no means, my brave lad, we shall have lighted the fire of a national resistance. We shall have shown the people that if Scotland divided against herself, and with all her great nobles and their vassals standing sullenly aloof, can yet for a long time make head against the English, assuredly, assuredly when the time shall come, and she shall rise as one man from the Solway to Caithness, her freedom will be won. Our lives will not have been thrown away, Archie, if they have taught this lesson. So, anyways, I'm getting very, just all excited about freedom <laughs> with this book. I'm enjoying it a lot. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.